Hey everybody, it's Tyrolin. We're going to jump right in. I did some uh, leveling off screen here, like I said I would. Got Egger up to 10, Lock up to 10, Terra up to 9. I think they were 7, 6, and no, 8, 7, and 5 before. And I was testing some stuff with some sound on my recording. Anyway, so we're in the cave that leads. Might as well heal ourselves even though we were healed. This place is full of random encounters, and like I stated before, if you want to level up here, go right ahead. And of course, I was leveling up the whole time, didn't get one back attack. Now that I'm recording, I'm going to get back attack. We're going to use him to steal, her to fight. Of course, he couldn't steal. Worst thief ever. And we use auto crossbow with Edgar anytime there's multiple people on the screen, because it's just freaking overpowered in this in this section of the game. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna explore this place. I didn't really explore it, and I've played the game before, but it's been a couple years since I played it, so I may miss stuff. People may scream at me for not doing stuff. This isn't a 100% game by any mean, but I'm gonna try to get it as close as possible. Hey, we win. I also did some tweaking like I stated earlier with my sound. Uh, these files were just getting huge, and that's what she said, uh, when I record. Ah, tincture. I don't even remember what those do. Let's take a look, shall we? Or ranger stuff. Tincture. Oh, yeah, MP. Okay, good. Good to know. Like I said, it's been a couple of years since I played this. Anyway, the files were getting so large that I had to change some settings on there, so I wouldn't continuously get larger and larger, because there is a cap on YouTube. Ooh. Preemptive strike. Awesome. Let's we'll see if you can steal this time, you jerk. Yay, tonics! Better than buying them. And auto crossbow will destroy them. So, yeah. It is... I Like I stated before, before I went on the grinding mission, I just got back from eating. Smash burger. Oh, that's a dead end. And, oh my goodness, I am full. So full. Ugh. Oh. Ate way too much. I always do that when I go there, too. Delicious food, but so bad. And I shouldn't have stolen with him because that means that thing will stay alive. Or not. Never mind. I'm thinking level does affect the auto crossbow. Not a lot, but it does affect it. So there's a stair there, and there's a path this way. Ah, uh, we'll get that chest. And as I kind of alluded to before, you do visit a lot of these areas again later on in the game. So you can leave the chests, I believe, for later, and they'll have better stuff. Kind of like a Chrono Trigger thing, and if you haven't played or seen that game, there are definitely less plays out there, or play it, you know, buy it. Like, as I am playing this on an emulator right now, the only reason I'm doing that is because I don't have a capture card, and I do own the game, so I feel that it's within my legal right to play it on my computer if I want. Anyway, so we're going to continue to steal with him because these things die instantaneously to the auto crossbow. And he sucks as a thief. He shouldn't be this bad, but it's nowhere near as bad as the steal rates in Final Fantasy IX. Oh, those ones are just ridiculous. He's going to be there for, oh, I think the church chest over here. Or not. Yeah, it is. Just absolutely ridiculous in that game. You can be there for hours. Another back attack. Seriously, I spent over 15 minutes grinding and not a single back attack, and now getting them left and right. Yay, Tonic! Drink some water there. The water's so good. Hey, Edgar gained a level. Not that we need it, but we will need it in the end. I almost was an idiot and left the track. Alright, Phoenix down. So, yep, we're just kind of cruising along in here. There's not much to talk about in here. It's just a simple... It's your first real cave as a party. I should wipe them out. Way, way too powerful. Hey, Terra gained a level. Awesome. Oh, and by the way, I didn't show you this, but uh, Terra gained a new spell. Antidote. So if we get poisoned, she can cure it for three... MP. Also convenient. And apparently there's somebody guarding the door. Lot's gonna try to steal. 
And of course he can't, because he sucks. Auto crossbow death. It's almost like heat seeking crossbow. It just knows where to go. How convenient would that be? Come up here just to walk around and come down. Now we're near the exit. Very short cave, very easy. Like I said, ooh, the music's so epic here. Okay, where we're trying to get to is South Figaro. And I believe we run into Grease Monks out here, which we've run into before. These guys are simpler than the ones in the cave. Or maybe not. Yeah, who knows. 512 GP. We gained a lot of gold, so... Our first real town, Cell Figaro. And there goes Shadow. You don't know his name right now, but that's Shadow. You'll find lots of excellent weapons, armors, and relics in our shops. Yay, finally, stuff to buy. Talk to this little girl if she wants. Can't believe it, the Empire will smash us. Well, great. Thanks, kid. What a downer. Welcome to Cell Figaro. Why aren't you by the gate? Well, this is the inn, and I believe that sign on the left is a relic. Equip relics to gain a variety of abilities. These double my walking speed. Oh, and That guy's a merchant. And a this lets you understand relics. Sprint shoes double your speed. True knight lets you shield others in battle. Dragon boots add jump command to your battle list. Gauntlet allow you blah 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 blah. Who cares? Gauntlet is nice. Two weapons at a time. Okay, we're definitely buying sprint shoes, because I'm sick of walking slow. Uh, We don't really need protection from gar dark yet. We don't need... Well, dark, yeah, if we're going to do protection from dark, we're going to do something where we get both. And we don't really need true night. So, let's not buy 11. Let's buy three protections from poison. And three jewel rings. Now, of course, you probably realize we're going to be gaining a fourth person soon. As you can tell, we have four slots. But we're going to hold off buying any relics for that. I'm going to give Edgar the sprint shoes. Because he's the head of our party. And the jewel ring since it protects from two things. Uh, also... Yeah, they didn't add anything. Huh. If you hit R and L, you can go from person to person. These don't actually boost anything else, sadly. And we'll add you. Nope, that's pointless. There. Alright. So now we're protected from dark. Oh, we can move fast. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I would highly recommend doing this. Here's the end. We'll sleep just to get everything back up. From now on, those free heals are going to be a lot more difficult to get at. So, use your ends when you can. Uh, check these buckets. Every once in a while, buckets, uh, clocks have special things. Sometimes the fire. I don't have them memorized, so I just kind of test them when I'm walking around. Let's get in bed with this guy or girl or whoever. The Empire attack Figaro Castle. Now we'll, be, <laughs> we'll all be drawn into the battle. That's all right, dude. You just keep sleeping. With the king. Alright. We're leaving here. This will take us down into the inn cafe. Let's talk to you. Duncan, students have no peers. The guy at the counter, he's kind of creepy. One of my favorite musics in this game. The Empire's been invading one town after the next. We're not safe here. Duncan made his son, Vargas, practice a strict martial arts style. Vargas resented it. There's a little girl. Kids allowed in here? What do you think? Oh, alright. So if you talk to the dog... Okay, we can't. Shadow says nothing. At the very least, you could give me a response. Stand back. He seems vaguely familiar. Wait a minute! He owes allegiance to no one and will do anything for money. He comes and goes like the wind. But that's where we're going to stop this one. You guys have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.